It's responsibility, it's uh, pressure, uh, it's honor. Um, and um, it feels really special actually to carry that Bentley logo everywhere you go around the world. So the only thing I can think about this year is to really try and fight for every win at every weekend, although I know that it's going to be tough. Life as a professional racing driver wasn't in anyone's thoughts when a young bike fanatic growing up in Spain fell upon four-wheel motorsport by accident. I was actually a, a motorbike fan. I had a pocket bike and I had a quite a big accident one day. So I said to my dad, mm, it quite hurts, you know? And he said, uh, yeah, but now we need to repair the bike. And actually there was no mechanic available. So we went up to the go-kart track and my father just met an old friend of his and the friend said, no, you should let Andy drive the go-kart. The motorbike is too dangerous. So I went with my leather uh, suit into the go-kart and I just didn't want to stop. So I said to my dad, we should sell the pocket bike and buy a go-kart. That eventually led to Spanish Formula 3 and his 2005 championship win earned him a run out in the Toyota F1 car aged just 19. I have incredibly good memories about that test because I remember the first laps I thought, wow, this is really fast. But after five or six laps, I kind of got used to it and I ended up the day being, I think, very, very quick and, uh, and I impressed the whole team. They actually said goodbye with a round of applause and they, they really seemed to be very, very happy with what I did. As Suchek was racing through the categories, there was another Spaniard who was inspiring the home fans, Fernando Alonso. When Alonso won the championship in 2005 and 6, people were starting to really get interested about Formula One in Spain. And it became crazy and everyone in Spain was just talking about Formula One. So I've, I've grown actually um, when I was younger with that Alonso boom and it certainly helped to get sponsors to talk about something that before nobody knew about. So Alonso has really helped a lot in Spain for people to know about motorsport. Two years in GP2 followed for Suchek, racing with the best of his generation before he secured the F2 title in 2009. He was close to landing a dream seat with Williams F1, but ended up as Virgin Racing's test driver. And then the F1 door slammed shut. I might have been a little bit angry uh, with how the system worked. But destiny is what it is and, and I think I am at the best place I could ever be. So I, I have no regrets on what I've done. I, I've done a lot of single seaters and now I'm driving for Bentley. So <laughs> what else do you, do you want? There's not much more I can ask for, to be honest. With Suchek successfully transferring his single seater skills into GT racing, he's a big asset to Bentley. Next up is the race that will define their season, the Spa 24 Hours. Most of the people might think that on a 24 hour race you're not pushing the whole time. Well, that's not true. There is so much competition that if you're not at the very best all the time, um, you won't have a chance to win it. It's also very important for the Endurance Championship because it uh, gives you extra points, a win, with the Bentley, that would be a dream come true. And, uh, and that's um, yeah, our objective for this year, for sure.